Hello. Welcome to the fourth video to accompany the Further Maths Conference Complex Numbers session. In this video, we're going to look at an activity you can use with your students to stretch and inspire them beyond the specification. While tackling it, students will practice some basic skills and learn how to use their graphical calculators efficiently. Benoit Mandelbrot experimented with complex numbers. He played around with various equations using complex numbers and looked at the patterns in his answers. He let a complex number be c and he tried c squared plus c. He put his answer into his calculator, squared it and added his original number. He repeated this many times. Here are the equations that generate this iterative sequence. He noticed some very strange behaviour. For some numbers, the modulus became larger and larger with each iteration. For some numbers, it didn't. Consider the size of Zn. He wanted to know if it was easy to predict which numbers would increase their modulus under his rules and which wouldn't. He decided to plot on an Argand diagram all the numbers whose modulus remained below 2, however many iterations he did. Now, of course, this was in the 1970s, when computers didn't have monitors. He didn't see anything at all until he got the rather slow printout. And this is what he saw. Well, not exactly this. It wouldn't have been in colour or in such amazing detail. But it certainly wasn't what he expected. Now, producing an image like this is pretty complex, but investigating enough points to get a sense of the shape is not very difficult. You could start students off working by hand for some manipulation practice, much more interesting than doing an exercise from the book, and then move on to doing the repeated calculations on a calculator and develop a different set of skills. That's all very well and very pretty, but how useful is it? Well, it turns out that fractals like this, generated using complex numbers, are really useful in all sorts of ways. They can be used to enhance film quality by digital remastering, like this. They can be used to make animated film more realistic, like this. and they're used in the study of fluid dynamics, with applications to all sorts of things. I hope you've enjoyed this brief look at some of the wider applications of complex numbers.